Dave Sweetapple is a musician known for his work in the stoner rock and doom metal genres. He is a bassist and songwriter, and he is associated with several notable bands in these genres. One of his prominent roles is with the band Sweet Apple, where he contributes to both songwriting and performance. Additionally, Sweet Apple has been involved with other bands and projects, including The Witch, which is known for its heavy rock sound. His music often features strong, heavy riffs and a blend of classic rock influences with a modern edge. Over the years, he has collaborated with various artists and bands, contributing to his reputation in the rock and metal communities. He died on August 9th, at the age of 58. No cause of death has been made public at this time. Sean Travis is an American musician known for his work in the progressive rock and metal genres. He gained recognition as a member of the band Chan, which is known for its intricate and melodic instrumental music. The band's sound often features complex guitar work, elaborate compositions, and a blend of various musical influences, including progressive rock, jazz, and metal. Chan, founded in 2008, has released several albums and EPs that have garnered a following within the instrumental rock community. Travis's contributions to the band are notable for their technical proficiency and creative musical ideas. In addition to his work with Chan, Travis may be involved in other musical projects or collaborations, but his primary association remains with Chan. His work exemplifies a dedication to innovative and skillful musicianship within the progressive rock genre. He died on 11th of August, 2024. Greg King he was an American rock musician, radio personality, and novelist. He founded and led the Greg Kinn Band and he wrote several popular horror novels. He is best known for the hits The Breakup Song, They Don't Write M, in 1981 and Jeopardy, in 1983. Kinn's early influence was the Beatles and their appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show. Kinn began his career in his hometown of Baltimore, working in the singer-songwriter mold. But he switched to straightforward rock and roll when he moved to San Francisco in 1974. He started writing songs and playing coffee houses while still in high school in the Baltimore area. When Kin was 17, his mother submitted a tape of one of his original songs to the talent contest of the big local Top 40 radio station, WCAO, 6 o'clock AM. Through the 1970s, Kin released an album each year and built a strong cult following through constant touring. He also began a literary career in 1996 with the release of his first novel, Horror Show, published by Tor Forge Books. Kin's last album, Rekindled, was released in 2017. He was born on July, 1949. He died on 13th of August, at the age of 75, died from complications of Alzheimer's disease in the San Francisco Bay Area. Sergio Donati was an Italian screenwriter and filmmaker best known for his work in the Italian film industry, particularly within the genres of spaghetti westerns and crime dramas. Donati's career spanned several decades during which he contributed to numerous notable films. One of his most significant contributions was to the spaghetti western genre. He worked on the screenplay for A Fistful of Dollars, directed by Sergio Leone a film that played a pivotal role in popularizing the genre internationally. Donati also collaborated with Leone on other projects, such as, For a Few Dollars More, further solidifying his reputation in the film industry. He was born April 1933. He died in Montana on August 13, at the age of 91. Winsome Sinclair. She was a Jamaican-born American casting director and film producer. She was the founder and chairwoman of Winsome Sinclair & Associates, a global casting agency based out of Atlanta. Sinclair was a frequent collaborator with famed directors such as Spike Lee, John Singleton, Steven Spielberg, Lee Daniels, and the Hughes brothers. Notable films she worked on include Too Fast, Too Furious, All Eyes on Me, Amistad, Jungle Fever, Malcolm X, and The Best Man. In 2010, she was the star project mentor at the 2010 American Black Film Festival. She also produced movies, such as co-producing the 2017 Sam Pollard film Maynard, a biopic about Atlanta's first black mayor, Maynard Jackson. She was a panelist at the 2018 for the Academy's Careers in Film Summit in Atlanta, 
hosted by the African American Film Critics Association. She was born October, 1965. She died in hospice care due to colon cancer on August 14, at the age of 58. Luther Kent. He was an American blues singer based in New Orleans, Louisiana. Kent was known for a big soulful voice in his big horn-based group, Luther Kent and Trick Bag, that mixed swinging blues with New Orleans R&B. Towards the end, Kent had a show that came on Saturdays on WBRH called Luther's House Party. Kent began to sing professionally when he was 14, and his first record was released by Montel Records. In 1970, he became the lead singer for a group named Cold Grits. Kent released a gospel album in 1996 teaming up with John Lee and the Heralds of Christ. Kent also sang as a guest with the traditional jazz group, the Dukes of Dixieland on selected dates. He was born on June, 1948. He died on August 16, at the age of 76, died due to heart disease. Alex Sidious. He was an American hot rodder, racing driver, and land speed racer, active in the early days of auto racing. He served in World War II as radio operator and engineer on a Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. Zidias was the founder of the Alex Zidias and Pete Shapuri Center for the Automotive Arts at the Pomona Fairplex. He was also a member of the board of directors of the Wally Parks NHRA Motorsports Museum. Zidias began his racing career in the 1950s, initially gaining attention in local and regional racing events. He was known for his work with the SoCal Speed Shop, a renowned hot rod and custom car shop. Zidias's cars were prominent in various racing events and exhibitions, showcasing his skills both as a driver and as a builder. He was involved in developing and popularizing various racing technologies and modifications, helping to shape the direction of American racing and hot rod culture. He was born on March, 1922. He died in Southern California on August 24, at the age of 102. Karel Hermanek. He was a notable Czech actor born on September 18, 1947, in Prague, Czech Republic. His career encompasses work in theater, film, and television, making him a well-respected figure in Czech performing arts. Hermanek has a significant presence in Czech theater. He has performed in numerous productions across various genres, from classical works to modern plays. His versatility on stage has earned him acclaim in the Czech theater community. Hermanek has appeared in several Czech films and television series. His roles range from dramatic to comedic, showcasing his broad acting skills. Some of his notable works include roles in films like Return of the Idiot and A Higher Principle, as well as appearances in various TV series. He studied at the Prague Conservatory, where he developed his acting skills and prepared for his career in theater and film. He died on August 24, at the age of 76, died from injured by gun. Christoph Daum. He was a German professional football manager and player. As a manager, he won eight trophies with clubs from Germany, Turkey and Austria. In 1992, he won the Bundesliga championship with VfB Stuttgart. In the Bundesliga, he also led one. FC Köln to 2 and Bayer 0 for Leverkusen to 3 second places. Dahlm played as a midfielder and was a junior for several clubs from the region of Duisburg. He began his senior career with Hamborn 07 and Eintracht Duisburg, before joining 1. FC Köln in 1975 and being part of the reserve team that won the 1980-81 German Amateur Football Championship. In November 1990 he transferred to VfB Stuttgart, where he won the Bundesliga in 1992. On November 9, 2011, after pausing for six months, Dom took over as head coach of the Belgian club Brugge. He became the third foreign manager in the history to coach the Romanian team. He was born on October 1953. He was announced that he was diagnosed with lung cancer in October 2022. He died from the disease on August 24, 2024, at the age of 70.